everyone and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today I will be teaching you how to make a very cool game Smash the Ghost in MIT App Inventor and by now you must be knowing how to open MIT App Inventor and how to start a new project that is by going to projects and start new project and then name it without any white spaces between the words okay in this tutorial i will be also teaching you how to make a splash screen because mostly all cool games have a splash screen so we just need to make our screen black i have already uploaded a file called splash screen.png by using the media it's just a title which says the name of the game that will come on the screen, on the splash screen for a couple of seconds. Okay. So how to make sure that it is being shown in the center of the screen. So for that, I need a horizontal arrangement. Okay. So just drag the horizontal arrangement and make it fill the parent in terms of height, fill the parent in terms of width. Okay. And make sure that align horizontal and align vertical are both center because this will make sure that whatever image or other component we will add to this layout the horizontal arrangement will be in the center i need to add an image so i will just go to user interface and drag an image and put it here and we also want this horizontal arrangement to be black so make the background color black and this image let's rename it title image and set the picture to be splash screen.png i already uploaded it so I will just choose it and click OK. Now it's very big. So I'm going to make it small, about 71 pixels in height and 270 in width. And now it's exactly in the center. And now we need a clock. Why do we need a clock? Because in MIT App Inventor, instead of a weight block, just like in Scratch, we need the clock inside sensors. We have this clock to run any kind of timers. Remember, we use timers in our alarm clock app tutorial. So we need the timer to run after two seconds. So this timer interval is in milliseconds. So 1000 milliseconds is equal to one second and 2000 is equal to two seconds and we want the timer to be enabled so that it fires when the time is up. When I click on clock component, I will get all the blocks that I can use with the clock component. This is the block that interests us. We will go inside this block when the timer goes off. First of all, we want to turn the timer off because we don't want the timer to go off after every two seconds. It has to be fired only once. So set clock one dot timer enabled to what? False. So go to logic, get the false clock. And then we want to call the block for opening the second screen, which is what? Nothing here. Why not? Because we haven't added the game screen. So let's quickly add it by going to add screen so, and choose it. And now, after two seconds of showing the screen one with the title of the game on it, we will be taken to game screen. Okay, so let's design the game screen. So choose game screen from here and go to designer. And we want the background here to be black too. Choose background color black. And we want to show the name of the game. So make the title smash the ghost. So now the title is coming here. And now we need a canvas on which our ghost will pop up. Okay, so we go to drawing and animation and we drag the canvas here. And we want the canvas background color to be also black. And we want the height to be 80%. Okay, and weight to be fill pair. And this part will be for the score. So let's quickly get horizontal arrangement again bring it to the bottom and again background color black height about 10 percent and width fill payment okay and now we need a score and the score will be increased by one whenever we touch the ghost so we need a label we go to user interface and we get the label and drag it and put it inside a horizontal arrangement okay and another thing horizontal arrangement make sure that it is align horizontal center align vertical center so that anything we put inside it is in, is exactly in the center so label rename it to score label okay remember to name your components appropriately and 
the text should be score colon dash 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 we cannot see it because it is by default black in color so we are going to make it white and now we can see it okay we can increase the font size to about 18 okay and we need also a button to reset the score because uh, you might be playing the game with your friends and then taking turns so you need to have a reset button for your friend to start all over okay so go to buttons and drag and just drop it and put it inside your horizontal arrangement and rename it reset button and we are going to make the background color white shape is rounded and text is reset okay and let's increase the font size to about 18 2 for that so this is nice okay and now we need a sound component we can get the sound component from media it is the block from where we can the vibrate blocks the phone will vibrate when we touch the ghost so we need the sound component for using those vibrate blocks okay so just drag and drop it here it's a non-visible component and rename it to vibrate now the most important thing is that we want our ghost to appear on the screen after about every one second whenever we want to add a delay or a timer we need a clock so go to sensors add a clock here to a non-visible component rename it to ghost timer the timer should be enabled timer should always fire and the timer interval is 1000 which is equivalent to one second okay and now we need to add a ghost i got the ghost from the internet i will give you the link from where i got the ghost image you can also draw it yourself it should be about 50 pixels in width and height both first of all we need a sprite so for that you need to go to drawing an animation and get this image sprite and drag it and put it inside the canvas so make sure it's coming under the canvas and rename it to ghost and as you can see that we have things called heading interval and speed now heading is the direction and interval is the time after which the sprite will move remember these are sprites that are, that are supposed to move and speed is the speed at which it will move we are not concerned with these properties at this time because we will be moving our ghost through the code so our speed will stay zero and we are not concerned about the heading or the interval so we need to add a picture for the image so i'm just going to upload it right in front of you you upload a file then choose a file and i have this ghost and i chose it and i opened it up clicked ok and we have a very big ghost here i'm just going to choose it and i'm going to make its height and width about 50 pixels this is a very simple drawing you can even draw it yourself using software like paint make sure that it's visible and it is enabled okay so now we are going to write the code for our game and we will be using procedures remember procedures procedures we used in scratch 2 they were called my blocks so similarly in app inventor you can also make procedures or functions so i'm going to make two procedures one procedure is for moving the ghost all over the screen and this procedure will be called whenever the timer this timer the ghost timer goes off and then we need an update score procedure for changing the text of that score label changing it to the correct score we have two blocks inside procedure we just need the simple one which just perform something we don't need the result one rename it to move ghost and what we want to do is that we want the ghost to be moved to a different location on the canvas every time this procedure is called and it should appear randomly all over which screen this screen we have this canvas this canvas has a height and a width and we have this ghost and it has a height and a width so we have to find a random position inside this canvas making sure that our ghost is properly showing too okay we are going to use a random number between 0 and 1 and we are going to multiply it by the width of the canvas minus the width of the ghost to make sure that it will show within the screen for example it will be somewhere here the entire width and then when that number is multiplied by for example zero then this means that the ghost will show somewhere here okay and if it is one then the ghost will show somewhere here 
and if it is 0.5 then the ghost will show somewhere here and we are also making the height random so let me write down the code and then it will make more sense we want to set our ghost the ghosts give it a new x position and a y position so set ghost dot x to what we need the math blocks and we need one multiplication block and one minus block so what will we put inside here we a random fraction so we already have a random fraction in math blocks this will generate a number between 0 and 1 okay and we need the minus block here we are going to get the canvas dot width if we choose canvas we can get this canvas dot height and we can choose it to be canvas dot width from here and we need the ghost ghost dot width so ghost dot width and put it inside there and we will just duplicate it and choose y instead of this thing choose height here and height here the move ghost part is done and we need another procedure but before making that procedure we need to define a global variable initialize global variable called score and we have to initialize at the beginning of the game to zero okay what we want to do is that inside a procedure which procedure not the result one just the basic procedure which does not give out an output i'm going to call this procedure update score and what we want to do is that whatever the current value of score we want to combine it with this text score and show it on the screen so just go to text and use the join block okay and we need from the score label we click on it we need set score label dot text okay so we want the score label dot text to a, a join what should be joined a simple text that says score colon space and the current value of the score so we just go to variables and get this get block from here so get block and get the score so this will get the current value of the score and join it and update it on the screen next we need the code for a ghost timer that is when the timer goes off we need to call move ghost that move the ghost every time the timer goes off that is after every one second now we come to the main logic of our game and that is what happens when the ghost is touched so we go to ghost and when ghost is touched what do we want to do we want to increase this score by one and we want to then call the update score method so that the screen actually also reflects we need to first of all increase the score so we go to the variables and we get the set block also get the get block and we choose it to be set the global score to the current global score plus one so again we need a mass block because we are adding something together so this will be actually going inside here and we need the one block so just get it from here drag it and here put this inside your set the global score block so when the ghost is touched our global score is increased by one next thing call update score and the next thing is that we want our phone to vibrate okay so we added this sound and inside a sound component called vibrate it has this block called vibrate okay so just drag it and put it inside there and it is asking for a time for that is for how long it should vibrate and we just want to vibrate it for about 100 milliseconds okay so this is done now we want the ghost to change its position okay call move ghost procedure so call move ghost from the procedures just put it here and now for the reset button when it is clicked we want that our score is set to what to zero and this is set but this is not done we need to reflect it on the screen so we need to call from the procedures update score this is very important okay one last thing you can also add music to your game go back to your designer inside media you have a player just drag and drop it here i'm going to upload the media a music file so the spooky right so it has been uploaded and now i just need to tell the player that it will play the music in a loop and the source is the spooky right that i uploaded in the media here so i chose it so we go back to block when we click on game screen we have this block called 
when game screen dot initialize this is the setup code starting point of our game screen so what do we want to do here we want to start our music so player call player dot start so this will start the music and it will play in a loop we are done So I hope you like this video do share it with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribed to my channel till now kindly do so because I plan to upload more fun tutorials about app inventor in the future see you in the next class have a good day and goodbye